This informational video is for how to enable online archiving for an Office 365 account. The focus of this video is scoped to cloud accounts only. For on-prem managed accounts and other topics, please see our video library. In part one of the series, we discussed how to enable an archive mailbox, which is only the first half of the solution. Now we must create a retention policy to configure how you want the archiving solution to work. Microsoft refers to this portion of the archiving solution as the Messaging Records Management Strategy, otherwise known as MRM. MRM makes it easier to keep messages needed to comply with company policy, government regulations, or legal needs, and to remove content that has no legal or business value. This is accomplished by using retention tags and retention policy. Let's focus on retention tags first. Retention tags allow you to determine how long a message is kept and the actions taken when the message reaches the configured retention age. Retention tags are linked to our retention policy. There are three types of retention tags, which are differentiated by how they are applied. Default policy tags are tags that apply to all items in a mailbox that don't have a retention tag already applied to it. A retention policy can have up to three default policy tags linked to it. Retention policy tags are tags that can only be applied to default folders, such as inbox, set items, deleted items, and junk mail. A retention policy tag takes precedence over our default policy tags. Personal tags are tags that end users using a supported version of Outlook Client and Outlook Web App can apply to folders and individual items in their mailbox. Only end users can apply personal tags. Retention policy is the method of applying a group of retention tags to a mailbox. To apply one or more retention tags to a mailbox, you must add them to a retention policy and then associate the policy to the mailboxes. A mailbox can have more than one retention policy. Retention tags can be linked to or unlinked from a retention policy at any time, and the changes automatically take effect for all mailboxes that have the policy applied. Let's review the retention policy default MRM policy that is provided by Office 365 for all tenants. In default MRM policy, you can see there are multiple retention tags available, especially several personal tags. In OWA, you can see those tags are available in the end user's mailbox. An end user can also use a supported version of Outlook Client to apply these tags, like this. Let's create a new retention policy for our testing purposes. Click on the plus sign and then name the new retention policy. Now let's add some retention tags. Select the retention tag that matches your archiving solution needs. Note that you can create additional retention tags for more options. An important thing to note is that unlike the default policy tag and personal tag, the retention policy tag does not allow the move to archive action in the UI. You will need to use Remote PowerShell to enable that action. Now that we have created a new retention policy, let's apply it to our test account. At this point, we have successfully deployed an archiving solution for testing purposes. Once you have successfully validated that the archiving solution is working as expected to meet your business needs, you can apply the new retention policy to your targeted mailboxes. This concludes our informational video series on how to enable online archiving with Office 365. Thank you for watching.